morning, chemistry lovers. Today we are talking about calorimeters. Mm -hmm. So what is a calorimeter? A calorimeter is something that can measure heat from something that we normally wouldn't be able to. In our display, the candle is what you're absorbing the heat, which goes into the water inside the pop can of the calorimeter. So the purpose of our specific calorimeter, we were testing if adding more layers of tinfoil uh, allows the calorimeter to absorb more radiant heat and therefore increasing the final temperature of the water. Our hypothesis was that adding more layers of tinfoil would overall increase the final temperature because it would hold more radiant heat energy. So what did we do to make sure that this was as accurate as possible? It brings into something called our controls. What did we use for our controls? We always made sure that we recorded accurately all the temperatures first, or beginning, initial, um, and final temperature of the water, as well as we always used 100 milliliters of the water from the same tap. As you can see, with all our trials, we kept accurate records of everything being very consistent. Again, with the candles, it's difficult. You have error margin, so you need to keep track of your data in order to have as accurate results as possible. Some of the other controls that we used were included uh, having the ring here be five centimeters above the candle, using the tinfoil skirt every single time. We uh, did the experiment for five minutes each time, and then overall, like he, Mike uh, said, using the same amount of water coming from the same tap, trying to get it to the um, same initial temperature. Although, because every, nothing is perfect, let's be real here, uh, there was a little bit of margin error, about approximately half a degree. So what did we do to fix that? Well, when we did our final graph to show all of our data, we made it so that our graph went by the change in temp and not the final temp. Because that way, even if like, look at trial one and two. Initially, for trial one, it had an initial temperature of 22 degrees, whereas trial two had an initial temperature of 21.5. But when we did the change in temperature, they came out to the same, exact same uh, temperature, heat. So we wanted to show that even though they had a slight, you know, difference in the f initial and final temperature, overall, they gained the same amount of heat. So originally, we were only going to do three trials but when we first found out that trial one and trial two came out to the same data we we took it one step further to t add in another trial so that we had extra data in there <coughs> in order in order to allow us to have more data because fuck, I don't even know. so the purpose of having an act that extra trial is with trial one and trial two, they came out to the same increase in temperature, yet on our third trial, we had a spike. As you can see from the graph, so we did the fourth trial because that amount of data is not enough to make a strong conclusion and not enough to bring forth a proper answer. Which goes with our conclusion. Personally, I think our conclusion is very interesting because like Mike said, the first three trials, it seemed like we had a very super easy, awesome, you know, adding more heat, adding more layers of tinfoil doesn't in fact increase the, you know, overall heat. But then when we did the fourth trial, it was really interesting because the fourth one actually held the least amount of heat. And we thought to ourselves, why could that be? Well, we thought that after adding like two to three layers of tinfoil, the tinfoil becomes more like an insulator and not just keeping radiant heat in. So what's happening is, although it's keeping all the radiant heat in, because it's also acting as an insulator now, it's not keeping the convection heat very well because tinfoil is not a very good insulator. So all of that convection heat is leaving. No, it's conduction. Conduction heat is leaving. And because of that, we're losing heat. So to further our uh, research, we would say that using one or two layers of tinfoil with a proper insulator would be the best way to get and high. And thus concludes our video.